In this video, we're going to cover the Google Sheets lookup functions, XLOOKUP, INDEX, MATCH, and VLOOKUP. And essentially what we want to do in a lookup is take transaction data and match it to master data because you don't want to repeat your master data in every row. But what we need is a common field. And in this case, it's the ID. So I'm going to use the ID field to look up company name, industry, and country from the master data. So the first formula we're going to use is the OG and that's VLOOKUP. So what VLOOKUP does, it performs a vertical lookup between two data sets. And what I do here here is I put in my ID I'm looking up. I then will set a range that has to start with the column that we're looking up. We're going to press F4 just to make that range fixed so we can pull it down. We're going to look up the second row in here, which is industry. And then we're going to put in false, which just means that we're looking for an exact match. And then my industry is looked up and I can drag that down. So because we've fixed everything, we can just pull that across and then we can look up country as well. So what I need to do here is I need to just change what I'm looking up to C3, should have fixed that as well. And then I'm looking up the third column here, which is country, and I pull that down. Where the VLOOKUP falls down is that you can't look to the left. So if I put my entire range as including the company name as well and try to look that up, it doesn't work. So if I go in here, I'm going to look up C3. I'm going to look that up between B22 and E27. I'm looking for the first row here, which would be company name. And when I put that in, I'm going to get a big fat NA. Now Sheets has previewed a solution for this using XLOOKUP. But first, I'll show you how to fix this in VLOOKUP if you want to fix it in VLOOKUP. So what you do is you can change the company name to a Cross. You can put that, move it from the first column to the last column, and then I can look this up. But I don't want to do that. I want to do it from how the data set's set up. So I can use another function called index match. So how the index match works is that you can match the index of a certain value within a range. So I'm matching C3 to C. 22 to 27, putting that as search range one, and it's coming up as that is in position number three. So that is the match. And what the index does is it can then use that match in order to pull the value. So if I just use index in its own, what index does is that I can look up a range and then input an index and that will return where that index value is. So that's return a company name. So instead of putting three in there, I can make this dynamic by just putting match in here. So as you see, match looked up our value and it will return that index. So I just go into match here and I put the formula as before. I'm looking up C3. I'm looking up C3 within my range and then index and match are going to return what I want it to return there. So this is more flexible than the VLOOKUP because you can look left to right and the ranges aren't tied to each other. So I'm looking for an index in one column and then that's giving me a match in the other column. I'm just doing a change here to make sure I look up marketing tools in here and then pull that down. And then I've matched everything in industry. And then I'm going to do the same for country and I've matched everything in country. The new best lookup tool is XLOOKUP. And I'll show you how easy this is compared to the other two. So with XLOOKUP, again, we're looking up the search key and we have a lookup range and a result range. So it's kind of like the index and match in one formula. So I'm looking up C3 again, the lookup range is going to be this ID column, pull it down. We'll make F4 to make it um, fixed. And then we're just looking up our result column and that's all it is and it's as simple as that you can just pull this down and the x lookup with three inputs has fixed everything down i'm just going to fix this for the other columns as well i looked up industry instead of company name here so i'm going to fix that drag it down drag industry down and then do the same for country drag this across look up my proper value which is c3 and then look up my proper result which is e22 to e27 and that's my x lookup autofill that and it's done so i hope you found that useful and that explained the three main lookup functions in sheet follow for more